I don't even know the time right now. That's how late I'm running. It's 8.53 right now. I am supposed to leave in seven minutes. Yeah, um, I didn't wake up as early as I wanted to today. Um, I'm going to Boston. I have work later today. If you guys don't know, I work in the city. I decided it'd be fun to like spend the day with my boyfriend, go to a cafe, do some other stuff around Boston. That was the plan today and I was supposed to get there around 10.30ish, but now it is 8.53 and I am still in a towel and have these things on. Um, so I don't really see myself leaving in seven minutes. I'm gonna do my hair, makeup, I don't know if I have time for that even though I do like the most minimal makeup because I left my makeup bag in my car So I'm just gonna do my hair right now everybody we made it to boston we're gonna go to a cafe in just a few minutes hopefully we're praying that parking does not take that long i have a lot to get done i have a whole to-do list that hopefully i can finish before i go to work which is at 4 30 i know i said that i was supposed to come at 10 but it's currently 12 right now so <laughs> i have a few hours to get some work done grind you know the whole shebang kevin do you have any words uh not really that's lit we finally found parking. Thank God. A few days later, Kevin and I hopped on the train towards South Boston and headed towards SOA, which is the art and design district. If you're visiting Boston or looking for fun things to do in the area, I would definitely recommend checking out SOA, especially if you're interested in the arts. There were a handful of galleries we walked through that showcased such talented artists. And right below the galleries is So Vintage, which is an underground vintage market with so many vintage and thrift vendors. There are so many different cool pieces you can find here, and they also sell furniture, art, jewelry, and tons of other miscellaneous items. And although some things are on the pricier side, you can definitely find a good deal here. After peeking around Soa for a bit, we headed to Chinatown for dinner, which was only a 15 minute walk away. We went to this place called Shoujo, which is a super lively and trendy little place that's perfect to grab some shared plates. We started off with the monkey chicken wings, which were sweet with a little bit of spice and probably one of my favorite dishes of the night. And after that, we ordered the Wu-Tang tiger-style ribs, which I honestly wasn't much of a fan of since I'm not really one for the spice. But after that, we got the kimchi fried rice, which was super good. Across the street from this restaurant is Tito's, which is one of my all-time favorite places to go. Like, in the whole world, this is the best boba spot I've ever been to, but it might just be because I've been going there for a long time. My usual order is strawberry milk tea with extra boba, and that's exactly what I got before we headed off to explore the stores around Chinatown. A few nights later, Kevin and I drove to Back Bay to get a late night dinner. It's starting to get cold in New England, and for us, that means it's ramen season. We love this place called Santuca. They have a location in Cambridge right in Harvard Square, but we went to the one right around the corner from Newberry Street. I really love this location because it's so small and cozy, and I usually get the miso soup with the shashu gohan combo, which is really, really yummy. The past few days, I feel like I've been so caught up with hustle culture and working that it becomes toxic productivity. I'm constantly thinking about working towards my goals and working in general that I forget to give myself a break. And social media has definitely played an immense role in the reason I hustle so much. I feel like so many people say that hustling is the most important ingredient in the formula of success, which I guess really does inspire you to be passionate about your work, 
but it's a good thing to an extent, meaning that it makes you have a mindset that success is only achievable if you are constantly sacrificing other parts of your life for your career and your goals, which is basically leading towards toxic productivity. I mean, even when I go to do things I like doing, like going to restaurants or exploring Boston, I feel like I could be working. And it's really hard to abandon this mindset, especially if it's been embedded in you, but it's important to learn to take time for yourself. Setting a new rhythm for yourself is the most important thing you can do, even if it's just small changes here and there. I was really proud of myself these past few nights because I finally went out and enjoyed myself. After we got ramen, Kevin and I went to Chinatown to literally do nothing. We always find ourselves there doing literally nothing and I honestly have a lot of fun. There's not too much to do in Boston if you aren't going out to eat or going to events like SOA or some sort of concerts. After hanging around for a bit, we took the train back to the car and headed home. La Bafana Pizzeria is a pizza spot in Brighton that I used to go to all the time last summer. I used to intern down the road from there, so it was my go-to spot when I was on lunch break. It's such a tiny little spot, but it's really cool inside. There are so many different options, but I usually get a slice of pizza for $4. And I know that kind of sounds expensive for one slice, but one slice is equivalent to two slices, and it's literally the size of my head, so it's a good deal. If you're in the area and looking for something cheap and filling, this is definitely the spot for you. My friend and I went there before heading to a show at Brighton Music Hall. We saw Pretty Sick, which is a pretty sick band from New York, and that was pretty much it. It was really nice to take a break from work to enjoy these past few days, and I really hope I can have some more days like these.